Good evening. You expect your mail to be secure in the post office of all places, but a local expert says that may not be the case. It's a shocking discovery, and it raises serious questions about the security of locks on millions of P.O. boxes across the country. Don Jorgensen joins us with more on this story. Angela, our mail is considered some of the most private information that we own. We receive checks in the mail, credit cards, and billing information, and the list goes on. But now all of that private and valuable information could fall into the wrong hands in a matter of seconds. This security consultant is about to demonstrate how easy it is to pop open a P.O. box with nothing more than a tapping device and a blank key. Watch what happens. Mark Tobias rented his own P.O. box at a mailbox, etc., in order to videotape his easy access and to draw attention to what he calls a huge security problem. It's a method called bumping, and he says anyone can do it. He wouldn't let us videotape him bumping a lock at a U.S. post office box, but said he achieved the same success. This is the lock that's used by mailboxes, etc. This costs one dollar to manufacture in China and in Taiwan, and it's open. Tobias says these locks and five million others the United States Post Office uses are not secure. And to make matters worse, Tobias says bumping keys are sold commercially and on the Internet. In the Netherlands, they just did a large study that showed that 80 different locks could be opened by laymen in seconds, or a large majority of them. This is a problem in the United States that needs to be addressed. Some of them may take five seconds, some of them may take ten seconds, but at the end of the day, they all open. We put a call into the United States Postal Inspector. He never returned our calls, but Tobias says that he's made the post office and mailbox, etc., aware of the problem and was told that they're addressing it. Tobias says that the post office will probably have to replace the locks with high-security locks, which will cost millions of dollars. Plus, he says the laws need to change, too, to make it illegal to send those so-called bumping keys through the mail.